Hello and welcome to Nice Big Wrench. Today I'm replacing my uh, Tracer's engine because the old one was deemed uh, terminal um, due to overheating problems. That's a bigger story. Um, check out some of my other videos if you want to see what the story was behind that one. Um, but I want to do a little video today just to help you line up the engine when the engine goes back in. Um, when I pulled the old engine out, this mounting bar here, where this bolt here, usually there's a center stand mount and there's the uh, uh, side stand and the bolt goes through the center stand through this part of the frame through the engine through the other bit of the frame you can just about see there and then through the center stand again and it holds the whole thing together and then taking the old engine out it was quite stiff um, which I thought yeah it's no big deal um, I just gave it a couple of twats with a foot and uh, uh, I hit it with my foot and uh, it popped out um, that's fine, but trying to put the new one in, it's really, really stiff. Um, and trying to hit it and uh, jimmy it, and it's not really working. Um, and it turns out, I'm not sure if you can see so well, but basically that tiny silver collet there is actually an adjustable collet, for, adjustable for the width of the engine. So um, if I look on the other side, if I show you down the hole, Hopefully you'll be able to see. No, you won't. There's basically there's a slotted nut in there. Um, it's a collar, but with a slot on either side, so it looks like that. Come on, focus. There we go. It looks like that. Basically, that sleeve moves in and out, um, and then the bolt goes through the middle of it. Um, and basically what happens is this uh, this collet is tightened, the engine's put in, the collet's tightened up and then the bolt's put in afterwards so that the engine always lines up correctly. Um, you have to loosen that in order to get the engine out and get the engine back in properly. Um, so obviously you have to remove the centre stand because the centre stand pops out of alignment as well. Um, and what you'll need to make is two tools like these. Um, now I've made these out of a bit of, that was a bit of bar, that was an old, yeah, it's a bit of steel. Doesn't really matter what I've made it out of. But there's one size for that hole there, and there's, and that uses the same one. And then there's a second size for that hole there. And if you look in the service manual, the Yamaha service manual, it states there's two specific Yamaha tools that you have to buy. Um, obviously I wasn't going to just buy several hundreds of pounds worth of tools just for one job so I made my own so just to let you know um, for if you want to make your own the metal needs to be two millimeters thick this uh, tool which is for the rear two mounts that needs to be 14 millimeters uh, wide and it needs to have a depth of at least 40 millimeters for zero in order to reach all the way down inside this hole so 14 uh, wide and then 40 uh, thick um, uh, 40 deep and then this uh, tool here that's 16 wide and then it I've cut mine in a certain shape but basically it needs to be about 40 mil deep as well for this mount here to slot in there um, to clear this part of the frame where my thumb is because obviously it's it's uh, needs to be deeper there so as you can see it needs to be deep now these are tool tight when you go to undo them and then they obviously need to be tool tight when you do them up doing them hand to height is not good enough but basically if you make a piece of steel or a piece of plate uh, metal that big uh, grab it with a pair of pliers and twist it that's perfectly good enough um, but yeah that's what has to happen unfortunately you can't just slot the engine in um, it has to be done properly so uh, yeah hopefully if you go to fit your engine you struggle to find out why it doesn't come out or why it won't get back in this is why okay so I'll catch you next time